Hello, and welcome back to Outlast Whistleblower. Shit be on fire. So, yeah, maybe we should get out of here. We don't have to deal with Gluskin anymore. And if this is to be believed, I don't know if we need to deal with Walker. Because, um, you should be busy with Miles. Uh, hello? Oh, oh yeah. The special security team has, um, back up. even took his damn pants. Tell you one thing. I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. Agreed. Not all of them attacked from a man. Let's wrap this up and get back to the truck. Amen. I, I agree. <laughs> There's a lot of that in this game. Corporate cops. Mercenaries. Private military contractors. Whatever they call them now. They're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out. Escape. Yeah, they're gonna cause a problem for me, but yeah, they're as useless as everybody else around here. Unfortunately, they have guns. Oh, and they are slaughtering people. Time to cover up! And I don't mean your nudity. Oh. Ooh, battery, thank you. I was running low on those. And story. Helen Granite. Rudolph Werdeke phase out. Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress from Rudolph Wernicke's from structural and financial system at Mountain Massive. His advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper. And legally speaking, he died years ago. I understand patients uh, 14306, 14279, and 14868 have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have combed through Wernicke's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Wernicke was sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirmity, to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff so I can see what comes with my own eyes. Respectfully, Helen Grant. Legal Mitigation Department? Wow, really? So yeah, they see profit in something that's going on here. I mean, let, let's not mention that it was... Oh crap. A horrible... Horrible disaster. And, and just see... Just see things that cannot make us money. Uh, where should I go? This is all locked down. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, well. How how how'd they get you out of there? It's uh. Fuck you, Doc. Fuck you. I don't think I ever realized that was him. Fun times. I remember those times being chased by a madman, having my fingers cut off with dirty scissors that were found at a urinal. But I'm not bitter. Your face is bitter. Is it still burning? Yep, it's still burning. This whole place is gonna be burned to the ground. Ooh. I don't know if they're actually slowly advancing on me, but I'm just going to keep going. Am I near the dormitories? Because Walker might be here if that's the case. I'd rather not Walker be here. I'd rather just walk the flock out of here. Okay, now I'm, I'm closer to the offices now. I wonder if that's the same one. 
these are barred up, so I wouldn't know. I think Miles came in this door. Perhaps I'm wrong. I thought there was a crack in the wall. It's a plant! Oh, freaking door right there. Oh yes, yeah, this place has seen better days. Story dump all of a sudden. Archives. Oh, did I get all the journals? Transfer 14306, 14279, and 14868. Um, who are these? I'm assuming one of them would be Billy, which they're not going to be able to transfer him. Possibly the father? I don't know. It's whoever was the lucid dreamer that could connect. I think. Um, caution, level triple black security protocols, including chemical restraint, physical restraint, and separate adaptive hyperbaric chambers are to be used at all time in transit. Chemical stimulation is highly recommended for all personnel within 500 meters of the patients. Attempts at communication should be assumed to be hallucinations and disregarded. Facial disfigurement should not be taken as a sign of lost acuity. They are physically blind, but not unseen. All three of them are physically blind? Okay. Note, security clearances from Project Wall Rider will not apply to information regarding patients 14306, 14279, and 14868. New security clearances will be issued and appropriate protocols assigned. So they're trying to get a hold of Wall Rider. I don't think they did because Miles kind of tore through them like they were tissue paper. But yeah, about that. So they were blind. I was Walker wasn't blind. So who were the three patients? I'm probably missing something very obvious. I don't remember very many blind patients. Hey, is this the bathroom that I got locked out of? It is. So what was so interesting in here? Apparently he just really needed to go. Clog the toilet and everything. Oh, he's washing his hands. That's good. Everybody should be clean. Oh, this is weird being back at the beginning of the game. I really like the way that this game went. I can just go down there. Wait a minute. Wasn't the glass broken right here? Or was it the other side? Oh, it's the other side. Over there, I think. Where, uh, Walker threw me through. Yeah, right there. So then this is where the bodies are that he hung up and decapitated. Ugh. How you doing, buddy? Oh, somebody came running through here. Didn't help much. But yeah, the way that these, these lead into and then past each other is just really good storytelling, I think. I almost don't want to leave. Only that I really freaking do. Wow, they even nailed the boards up. Nailed the boards. Nailed boards up to keep people from getting out over there. Doors wide open. Mr. Park! <laughs> How the fuck are you still alive? How are you still alive? Let's make a deal? You, no. you help me? I'll help you. How about no? God, I'm stuck like a pig. How sad, Jeremy. Jeremy Blair. My supervisor's supervisor. A man who'd see me skinned, salted, and raped for a promotion and a few martinis. Injured. Dying if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him. Really, I am. But there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. I agree. I also don't trust you in any state that you're in. Can I look around a little bit before uh, I go? Help me up. Ah, shut Please. up. I'm looking around. I don't think there is. But I honestly don't remember. Let me close these doors up. Yeah, they, they closed everything up. Anything over here? It's the last time I ask you, promise. I will leave you be. 
Sorry. Dear Lord, these guys were slaughtered. And these guys up front, they probably had no idea what was going down, down below. Hey, I can get into the bathroom. It's disgusting in here, and I'm standing in entrails in my bare feet. Okay. All right, you know it's true. Really? No. Can I kill him with my bare hands? I'd like to kill him with my no bare hands. No. No one. The little wall rider can. Yeah, it should get up. That's Miles. Or at least it inhabited Miles. That is torso. Is that torso or is those legs? Regardless, that was spine. Thank you, man. Can I go now? Oh, no, there's Torso. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. What a shame. Proclaim the gospel. Yeah, how about no? That's the other guy, and he's not the man he used to be. I need to get out of here before he comes and decides to rip me apart, because I'm sure he's not in charge. It's the first time we've ever seen this in the daylight. Ugh, oh, jeez. Get the flock out of here. Come on, keep going, man. He is messed up. <laughs> Am I? Uh, yeah, I forgot. I'm gonna use Miles' car to get out of here. I think he left the keys in. And uh, speaking of Miles, there he is. So he decimated everybody in there, and he's free. Hi. Well, shit. All rider is free. I'm on. I'm on. Go. You have fun. You have fun. I'm on a home. Screw you. God damn it. <sighs> you press that button. It's not going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive. And we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to murk off but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? It's strange that the video file I'm about to upload is from my camera and not Miles. Regardless, the same stuff is on there. But, um... You'd think I should think about family first. The problem with that is... My wife would think about family, but she would also override everything, every decision that I would make to back out of this and say, do the right thing regardless. So I'm going to make this decision based on her because she's who got me out of this. Uh, my character thinking about his wife is the only reason why he's alive. So we're going to make that decision that way. Fuck him. We'll deal with the consequences. Not that you could do anything else. But yeah. That was the entirety of Outlast. Honestly, both campaigns need to be played if you really want to enjoy the entire experience of Outlast. Because the DLC brings closure. Not really complete revenge, but it gets close. And leaves it open for a sequel, which is coming out. I don't know if it has anything to do with this storyline, or if it's going to be a separate storyline. Regardless, 
the storytelling in this and the gameplay elements were not massively complicated, but because they were simple and straightforward, they could grab you by the throat and demand that you listen to them. Which is why I think this was so much more popular than other games that shall not be mentioned that came out at the same time. But yeah. I had fun playing this. I hope you enjoyed my nonsense. And this has been Boy Lag, signing off.